There have been coast-to-coast -coast tributes for Harriet Tubman, a woman who risked her life to bring others to freedom. In Pomona, California, community leaders dedicated a statue that shows Tubman pointing towards a new life. The sculptor is an 82-year-old artist named Manuelita Brown, who created the bronze monument in just three months. And on the other side of the country, Newark, New Jersey unveiled an interactive statue honoring the trailblazer. This monument includes an audio component, voiced by rapper and actress Queen Latifah. Not everyone learns best by seeing or reading, so adding additional components, including the audio, makes for a fully layered experience. What Harriet Tubman did was about freedom, was about compassion for those who did not have it. Tammy Murphy, wife of New Jersey Governor Philip Murphy, said honoring Tubman is a way to keep real history alive. There is nothing patriotic in looking away from our nation's original sin. Among the people at the grand opening was one of Tubman's own relatives. Something to be learned by her compassion and her wanting to do something so courageous. Following her own instincts, with help from the Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman helped enslaved people escape into Northern American states and Canada, where slavery was illegal. She was a spy for the Union Army during the Civil War and advocated for the rights of seniors and women. Tubman's heroics may sound like ancient history to some, but she passed away in 1913. At the time of her death, Presidents Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon had both been born, as were actress Lucille Ball and civil rights pioneer Rosa Parks. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.